this be one of the best moments of your life. You're listening to the Business Mirror Podcast for a broader look on business with Senior Editor Dennis Estopase. Good day, I'm Dennis Estopase and welcome to Wednesdays with John Mangan, a podcast to be anchored by John Mangan, a columnist for the Business Mirror newspaper and who operates a website titled mangononmarkets.com. Mr. Mangon will share with us one of the many pieces he wrote for his column titled Outside the Box, which is published every Tuesday and Thursday in the op-ed section of the Business Mirror. We hope you enjoy your Wednesday with John Mangon. Solutions to Stop the COVID Spread I have a burning desire to go on a ballistic rant about the fact that the Philippines was and continues to be hit hard by the COVID-19 pandemic. No, I am not happy since I have been in lockdown as a senior citizen for 12 mother freaking months. Fortunately, I was able to restock my liquor cabinet before the city decided to protect me from the COVID virus sneaking into my house disguised as a bottle of 1800 100% agave silver tequila. Thank you, boozy.ph. My management style is to listen to every complaint about how things are being done, even from whiners. However, if someone came up with a criticism that I had not thought of, my reaction was to put that person in charge of fixing the problem. My belief is that if you are smart enough to find a problem, there's a good chance you can also find the solution. Further, it can create a de facto task force as the person in charge starts reaching out to others for ideas. Currently, all we seem to hear is the complain part and few ideas about the fix part. Therefore, while I will whine about the situation, I will not target any particular government action because I am not smart enough to have the solutions to battle COVID. Oh wait, I do have an idea. Put large billboards all over the country reading, Wear a mask shield, fool. Masks slow the spread of the virus, except when they don't. Quote, If coronavirus particles are in the air, all the masks aren't a reliable way of preventing someone from contracting the virus, although there is some evidence that they are better than nothing, says Babak Javid, Professor of Medicine at University of California, San Francisco. Now listen to that. Better than nothing is to scientific reasoning as Green Caw Cross is to Scotch Whiskey. In addition to having few if any ideas to help, the complainers are always making comparisons with other countries while coming from total dark ignorance. Thailand controlled COVID, why can't the Philippines? Well, here's why. Created in 1977, Thailand's Village Health Volunteers, VHV, were set up as a part of the government's efforts to help rural communities at a time when communist insurgents roamed the country. In 2003, when the Philippines was concerned about who would be president, Thailand was concerned about the SARS outbreak. Scared to death is more appropriate. The nation immediately started beefing up its health care system. A multi-sector task force was created, including many retired military because generals have the knowledge and experience of moving personnel and supplies long distances and they know how to pre-position equipment. After years of relative inactivity in 2010, when the Philippines was concerned about who would be president, Thailand's VHV were enhanced with more training and the 1 million participants were receiving $20 a month. Each VHV was responsible for 10 households. When COVID struck, this million man army was put to work educating families under their watch and reporting any COVID symptoms to local health officials. The VHV were able to immediately trace contacts of anyone who was COVID positive. With the combined military, police, and reserve forces, Vietnam has one of the largest per capita armies in the world. When COVID first hit, the military set a cordon sanitaire 
around areas of positive individuals. The military was used for contact tracing. A total of 10,242,896 people were eventually placed under quarantine with over 4 million in government quarantine facilities. Oh, my other recommendation to stop COVID is a small sticker on my face shield that says, if you can read this, I'm going to hurt you badly. Thank you for listening to the Business Mirror Podcast. For a broader look on business, follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Business Mirror. Until next time.